and you crash and you fall to your death and you die. So in my opinion, there are three reasons why people generally hate Robinson helicopters. That's like autopilot, dude. How do you fly a helicopter? Well, I'm gonna show you. We'll go through them and kind of break them down and talk about why most of them are not true. The first reason why a lot of people hate Robinson helicopters is for what is called low G mass bumping. Now, low G mass bumping is kind of a crazy term, but basically, so here is your Robinson R44 helicopter. Since it is a two bladed semi rigid rotor system, what can happen is if you get yourself into a low G condition and a low G is like less than one G and basically how this would happen is a cyclic pushover. So if you were flying along and you aggressively push the cyclic over, you would be in kind of like a nose low, tail high position and you would have less than one G. What this means is your rotor system is no longer loaded. So the fuselage, the main part of the helicopter and the disc are kind of acting separately. And the tail rotor is still producing thrust cause it's still loaded. So this would cause a really, so your nose low, this would cause an aggressive right roll of the helicopter. What then could happen is if the pilot feels this really aggressive right roll, they push left cyclic to counteract that. But since the disc is no longer loaded, what happens is the rotor head strikes the rotor mast and basically the blades fall off the helicopter and you crash and you fall to your death and you die. During that sequence of events, another thing that can happen is uh, your main rotor blades can come down and hit the tail rotor or a tail boom and cut your tail boom off, um, which is obviously a big problem and most likely fatal as well. That is a long winded explanation of a situation that can happen that low G mass bumping, which is like a true point and that has caused a lot of people's deaths. There have been a lot of fatalities and Robinsons are kind of known for that situation happening. And that is a fair point. Like Robinson helicopters, two bladed semi rigid rotor system helicopters are susceptible to low G mass bumping, but that is all due to poor flying or improper technique, improper instruction leading to that. If you go out and you fly a Robinson R22 or a 44 or an R66, you are not destined to that. The helicopter is not going to do that to you. That is 1000% pilot caused, pilot manipulated, the helicopter is not voluntarily gonna do that to itself. If you have good training and you have good awareness and good skills, that will not happen to you. Now, the only crappy part about that is if you are a flight instructor teaching a student, the student, you should give them training and you should let them know that if they do an aggressive cyclic pushover and you get into this low G position that the instructor can't really recover it and you're gonna die. So you should, if you're an instructor, you should tell your student that. But the only kind of crappy part is a student could just do that um, without thinking. They just respond that way by pushing the cyclic forward, you could get into the situation. So it is just like a, a negative of the rotor system. It is a negative part of the helicopter, but you are not destined to this. You can fly Robinson helicopters your entire lifetime and not have this happen to you. So the second reason why people hate Robinson helicopters is because they are cheap and cheap in the sense that they are less expensive than other helicopters, but by no means are they cheap. No helicopter you fly is going to be cheap. It's not really going to be affordable for most people. Helicopters, by their nature are expensive. But in overall terms, in comparison to other helicopters, Robinson helicopters have the lowest barrier to entry financially of getting into the helicopter world. So this is great in some senses, but it's really a detriment in other senses. If you have a really cheap helicopter, for the people that wanna do this as a career, they want to learn how to fly helicopters, this is like a dream and passion of them and they're gonna take it seriously and they really care. That is awesome that there is a way to get into helicopters that is not incredibly expensive or too restrictively expensive. Now, it, it is still extremely expensive, but it's good to have a l more affordable option on the market so people can get into helicopters. Conversely, on the downside of that is you are going to have people that really should not be flying helicopters, that do not care enough, that do not have enough training, that are gonna end up killing themselves because they say, hey, there's a helicopter, oh my God, 
god that's so cool a helicopter and they can afford it for like half a million dollars a robinson r44 and they can go purchase it so they get the bare minimum training they get their private with like 40 or 50 hours and then they go and buy this helicopter and then they go out and kill themselves so there really are two sides to the same coin it's beneficial but it's also really negative you know they're not toys they are serious capable helicopters and the third and final point and i'm gonna spend the most time on this one is people are and haters are gonna hate you know no shit like if we could all fly bell 407s ec 135s if we could all do our training in a star's big beautiful helicopters of course we would we would all love to fly the coolest things that's not practical that's like the most obvious stuff like we there has to be a way for people to learn how to fly helicopters that's not too expensive and robinson's helicopters fill that void there are a couple competitors there's enstrom there's schweitzer maybe a couple other small ones but robinson's are the most mainstream way for people to get into helicopters that is semi-affordable and people just hate that just on its face and so most of the people that shit on robinson helicopters come from two camps the first camp of people that shit on robinson helicopters are people that are not even pilots that can't even fly helicopters so those people can immediately sh up and the second group of people that usually shit on robinson helicopters are the people that fly really big cool the nice helicopters and the real fun fact about those people that fly those big helicopters is yes those are really cool and big helicopters but it's actually way harder to fly a small helicopter like a robinson r22 someone that has never flown a small helicopter probably couldn't even do it a really agile small light helicopter like a robinson r22 is extremely difficult to fly and it's extremely sensitive and extremely touchy a big helicopter like a bell 407 or an a star or an ec-130 those are really easy helicopters to fly they're very stable they're very big they're very heavy so those are genuinely easier helicopters to fly than the robinson r22 and in the famous words of chris brown in his famous song look at me now he says these lyrics and they couldn't be more true they hating from the outside of the club but they can't even get in and so in conclusion you know i've got very strong feelings about this because robinson helicopters really helped me get to where i am and they are really good helicopters and they are safe helicopters they are super safe if you fly them well any car any vehicle any helicopter is going to be dangerous if you do not fly it well but if you fly it safely within its designated envelope it's going to be safe. You know, I've got, oh, I think like over a thousand hours in Robinson helicopters, never had a problem. If you fly them safely, they will be safe, great helicopters. And I want to circle back to that point. Like if we could all fly big helicopters and do our training in big, awesome turbine helicopters, we would, but that's really just not practical. And so if you like this video and you like me spin all kinds of helicopter content, go check out my Patreon down below. If you want to throw me a dollar or two per month, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps the channel and helps me promote aviation and helicopter content. So go check out that Patreon down down below in the description if you like this video smash the like button and subscribe for all kinds of helicopter content if you disagree with all the stuff i talked about in this video i want to hear about it let me know down in the comments below if you think i'm wrong i like to have a conversation with you and i will see you guys on the next one take care